What's up? Oh man, it's been so long since I've been live, but you know, it looks like it's going good. Um, how's it going, everybody? I just want to go live because there's a lot I want to talk about, and it's going to be too boring to put in an article or a video or whatever. So if you're here, feel free to ask me any questions even after the stream has ended. I will go through the comments, if there are any, of course, and um, I'll answer as many questions as, you, as I can. Um, I guess the main thing I want to talk about is I've been in Toronto for a month, something like that. I got here August 8th, so it's actually like a little over a month. And in the last two weeks, which is half the trip, I've been um, posting quite a lot on social media. Um, I've been focusing on my blog and the, the schedule I'm sticking to now is like one article a week and that's been going pretty well. But I've also been posting a lot of status updates and some of you pointed out how negative they are and they're not meant to be negative. It's just that I don't like when people tell me that, you know, my life is perfect and I wish I was in your position and blah, 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 because no one's life is perfect, all right? And I just want to share that. And so these posts might have seemed negative, but they're just the truth. And um, it's, it's a big reality if you're moving to a new country that one week is great and the other week sucks. And it's just how it is. But I'm not trying to be negative. It's just I want to show everything. And um, yeah, I got a lot of messages from friends and family talking about that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to address that. Like I'm, I'm doing well. I'm healthy. I just found a job, which I'll talk about later. And uh, yeah, it's it's not like I'm depressed or anything. That was two months ago when I was back in Belgium. So <laughs> that's that's over, luckily. Um, and so yeah, I found a job. I had my last interview yesterday and the job is uh, related to property management. So what that means is a lot of people here, they have Airbnbs, right? Or they rent out a place on Airbnb. And, but some people don't want to deal with the hassle of doing that. So they don't want to maintain the building and they don't want to find tenants and they don't want to deal with communicate, communicating with the tenants. And so that's what we do. And my job specifically is doing their social media and website and all that, because that's what I've done before. Um, and that's what I'm going to focus on. And then also finding new properties, because that's their biggest thing. It's like finding new people that already have a place on Airbnb or that want to rent out on Airbnb, but um, that want to do it through us. So that's that's my job. It's part time, so which is great because then I can focus on, you know, things I want to do. I can focus on my own brand and I can focus on what I want to do in New York, which is something I'll talk later about again. And um, so, yeah, it's back in social media. It's back in marketing. I know I've written an article about it um, that marketing isn't enough for me. I think that was the title, I don't remember. I'll try to look for it, but I was basically saying that um, after doing it for six, oh yeah, that's the title. Um, like being a social media, um, being a social media strategist for like six months or something, I don't remember. Um, but, oh, I just got a message. Awesome, all right. But um, yeah, so that's, you know, what I'll work on. Oh yeah, and I said that, um, that's what I was talking about. I said that it wasn't enough for me because I was used to running my own business and um, it's just so different to have to focus on one specific part of a business. But in this case, it's very lined out, right? It's like 20 hours a week. So I know that I have to stick to 20 hours and um, it's in, a, in an industry I want to know more about because it's related to what I'm going to do later in New York. And um, that's what makes it interesting to me. And then also, I'm still doing what I did in Belgium before, uh, which is um, social media consulting and content writing. Like I want to write articles for other companies and people because like after a while of writing about yourself just gets boring, right? So, uh, and it's also an opportunity for me to learn more about things I didn't know bef uh, before. So that's something I want to put out there too. I made an account on Fiverr. I don't know if you guys know Fiverr, but it's like a, a gig website or whatever they call it these days. And uh, you can order an article from me through that website. So I'll, I'll link that in the comments below. And then also like make websites. I want to work together with a friend of mine in New York who's actually a really good designer. He's been making the, the banner pictures or whatever you call it for my articles. I think the, la the latest two articles have that. 
uh, have his graphical work and it's just so amazing like the last article I wrote was about my parents right and the picture it's a black and white picture and on the left you see a mom holding her child and then you have the particle effect with the quote in the middle, like um, the most important thing parents can teach their children is how to live without them. Then on the right, it has the actual kid. You know, it's crazy, like it grew up. And so this graf these graphics are so on point and I love it. Uh, it's an investment, but I think it's, it's worth it. And especially if you pay attention to what they actually say, there's a message within them. And I just, I just love that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna focus on these articles a lot. I'm also working on an ebook, uh, which is a pretty big project, but it's something I've been working on for a while. And the idea is to write stories about, hey Robin, <laughs> to, uh, to write stories about people that already moved abroad, including myself, but also others that I've met before. And I want to share their stories and also give you guys or the people that buy the book tips on how to actually do it. So tips about visas, about insurance, about money, about finding jobs, about finding good flights and all that. Um, so it's like a 30 page ebook and um, yeah, it's, it's a work in progress. It's a, it's a lot, but uh, that's also something I'm working on. And then um, on Monday, I had a call with um, a lawyer in New York, which um, is something I've been looking forward to for months now. And we basically talked about uh, my business idea, which I haven't really shared a lot about yet. Um, we talked about my business idea and how achievable it is and how long a, process, a visa process would take and what the requirements are. And we had like a one hour conversation about it. And it looks like I'm gonna aim for September next year um, of actually starting the business, which is pretty crazy because before that I need to do a lot of stuff. So one of which is I have to find the funds to actually start a business, which is probably the biggest part. And it's an investor visa. So it's not like you can start with $20 in your pocket, right? So that's something I'll have to figure out. And I'm working my ass off, so to say, to get that money together. Um, and my parents also want to support me, but that's not enough to actually get it started. And then also I'm making a business plan and I actually found people here well, it's funny because I was looking for a job and I talked about the project that I wanted to do in New York and they actually told me like, instead of giving you a job, I want to invest in your business. So it's pretty great. That was a good signal for me that I was doing something that was worth it. And, and so um, I'm actually talking to a business owner uh, to Mar no, next week about my business plan and like how to approach other investors and if he knows people and all that. And it's just super great that they want to give me that support. Um, and so yeah, that's like my third basically side project. So one is a part-time job as a project manager. The second is my own content and the ebook. And then the third is my New York project. So I'm, I'm pretty busy these days, but that's how I like it. Um, and yeah, oh yeah. And then also like, I guess a fourth is um, doing social media and website design for other people together with a friend of mine in New York who's a designer. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty busy, but I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to talk about, I think. Um, yeah, last thing is I have, so I'm posting an article every week. The schedule is still you know, up in the air, but I'm trying to do it in the beginning of the week. So like on Mondays or Tuesdays, um, if you want to stay updated for that, I'm going to drop a link in the comments as well uh, to sign up for a messenger list. And this is something I, I came across a few months ago, actually, instead of having to sign up for an email list, which, you know, we all get way too many emails. Um, you can sign up for a messenger list and then you'll get a notification on messenger every time I upload a, an article and you can just click the button and read it or click a button and share it. So that's, you know, I like that system and I'm playing around with it. Um, so if you like that, a comment, uh, check the comments down below and there's a link where you can sign up. And that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys another time. All right, thanks for tuning in. Peace.